In this lecture I will teach you how to create a color control layer which will allow you to change the colors of your transition all in one place. Welcome into the second part of creating our transitions template. I hope you did prepare the transitions on your own and you are ready with them. If not, you can always download the project file from the available resources. In this lesson I will teach you really valuable things about After Effects. We will dive a tiny bit into expressions, I will show you how to work with different layers and how to set up a color control layer. Now I would recommend you to first watch this video to get an understanding of what I'm doing and then recreating the steps by yourself. Let me start and explain a few things. I want to set up a custom control layer because I want to change the colors of those transitions. And I do not always want to click on the first layer, change the color here, click on the next layer and change the fill color and always have to go to the fill or to the options here of an effect and change them manually. So what can we do to set up one layer which will control our colors? One way of doing that would be enter a fill effect, place this fill effect here and then link this color option to my control layer. But I can also select the first layer, open up the content, go inside my rectangle, the fill and select the color option here. So for now, close everything down, press right on the timeline, press new and create a new nil object. The nil object should be renamed with enter to color control. You can of course name it as you wish, but a general rule is to name everything properly and simple so it's immediately visible what can be changed here. So I have my color control layer. Now I need something in here which will allow me to control those colors of those layers. After Effects has some built-in tools which allows us to do so. Select the control layer, go to Effects and go into Expression Controls. In the Expressions Controls you have several effects here. I want to use the Color Control effect. This is the most simple effect you can imagine. It's a simple handle which can change the color. But what is cool here, I can select this effect and duplicate it several times. So since I have four layers here, I'll duplicate it four times. Now how can I link this color handle to the color of this layer? That's actually very simple and that's why we use expressions. Expressions is a scripting language inside of After Effects which can be used to gain more control of our layers. But the good thing here is you won't have to program anything, After Effects can do this for us. We just have to say After Effects hello. I want to take this color and link it here. After Effects says, no problem bro, and he will do it for us. Let me back select this layer, and I need to select this lock here. If I select this lock, it will be toggled, and even if I click on different layers, it will not change. This simply helps me to stay within this layer. The same thing applies to this window. For example, you would like to have two of those compositions open. You can't do this right now, because if I click this, the second will open. If I click this, the third will open. But if I lock it down, and now I open the second one, both will be open. Then I could take one of them, place it here on the right, and I have both simultaneously open. But this is information for later. I'll go back now, open up the first corner, close everything down, and I'm back at work. So I have my color control selected, it's here, and I select the first shape layer, I open it up, I go into my content, rectangles, fill and I finally find my color option. You can make it much quicker by selecting all four layers and searching here for color. This will open all the color options there are. But remember that now two of them are opened because one is for the stroke around it and one is for the fill. We want to work with the fill. Now once you have this color open Hold the left ALT key and click on the stopwatch while holding the left ALT key. Instead of placing a keyframe, expressions were opened. And inside of the expressions, this informs us that expressions are active, we have a little snail here. This is called a pick whip. This pick whip can be selected and dragged to any other object. I will simply drag it to the first color. Now as I click over, this handle will determine the color of the first layer. If you click on the first color and change anything here, 
this layer will respond accordingly. And you can do this for all the other effects. Next shape layer, left alt, pick whip to the next one. You just repeat this step until you're ready. Once you are ready, you can, for example, press enter here. And just for the sake of your own organization, I would, for example, T1 layer, layer one, enter, control C. T1 layer two, T1 layer three, and T1 layer four. This would allow me to work a bit easier here. Now, what is the cool thing? You do not only have to use effects, expression controls and color control. It really doesn't matter which effect you use. You can, for example, use the fill effect. I'll open up the fill effect here. This fill effect, as you can see, has different options, but it still also has the color control option. It doesn't matter what you link as long as it can control the color. For example, here in the third layer, instead of making this here, I'll link it to the fill effect. Left alt, pick whip, Oh, sorry, I got a bit mistaken here. Once again, pick whip and I'll link it here. I click away. And the same as previously, well, I selected a different layer. I'm sorry, I mistaken those layers. I selected layer three, I should select layer number two, but this doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you that this is not mandatory to use this effect. This only helps us because it's a very simple effect with one handle, but you can also link any other item you want. You can link the opacity, you can link other parameters. Expressions do not limit us in any way. For example, let me select the second layer. This is this layer. I press T to open up the opacity. Now I alt click on the opacity and I link it with this opacity. Those two opacities have nothing in common unless I link them. Now I select the opacity here in the fill option, which is normally only a fill color, and I can now adjust the opacity here and it will reflect its options on the control layer. Now this was a quick start guide to color control creating and linking some effects. I don't want to overwhelm you with too many informations at once. For the beginning, in the transition number one, create a color control layer, click on this control layer, go to effects, expression controls and create four color controls. You can rename them here by pressing enter on them let me delete the fill one and please link four of those shape layers. Oh, you can notice that once I've deleted something, After Effects is returning an error. This is because this opacity option, this opacity property is still linked to this comp layer from this layer to the effect in here, which was called fill and has the opacity property. Expressions are built what dot where. So what? this composition layer, this opacity property was dot linked to the effect called fill and its opacity property. Now the effect isn't here anymore. So I have a warning sign that an error has appeared. You can simply click here to delete the expressions. And now we can normally work with the opacity. If you want to open up expressions again, you click here on this equation mark and you can edit the expressions and write some scripts here. But this is a bit advanced stuff. I just wanted to show you how to link those properties here. I, for example, often just use the fill color, place the fill color here. Now it's a bit easier for me because I can open E like effects. I have the fill color and the color is right here. It's a bit simpler to select. Now you could go to the control layer, alt click and just link those effects. Now you see, I have the wrong effect controls open. So I need to select the control layer. I have this here, maybe unlink it, it doesn't matter. I have the four colors here and I can link them quickly like this.